Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Erica and I'm so happy to have you here. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button and come visit with me twice a week. I make videos all about handbags, lifestyle, beauty, and decor. Anyway y'all, I have a very exciting video for you today. I feel like it has been a hot minute since I did a good comparison video. You know if you've been following me for a little while, I did a comparison of a PLG and a Madewell tote. I've done comparisons on just PLG totes. Well today, today I'm bringing you a comparison on some Rebecca Minkoff and Julian backpacks. So stick around and let's get to it. All right, y'all. So today we are going to be comparing some Rebecca Minkoff Julian backpacks. I want to preface this video by saying that this is not me telling you that one of these backpacks is better than the other. That is not what this video intends to do or sets out to do. I am simply comparing the sizes and how they are similar, how they differ, and trying to help you as a consumer decide which would be better for your lifestyle. I actually own two of the three of these bags. I have the classic and the mini, and then this is my girlfriend's that she let me borrow, and this is the jumbo bag. And I feel as a consumer of these bags myself that a video like this would have been so helpful for me when I was trying to decide which backpack to buy. Now inevitably, I bought two, and then I eventually hope to buy this third one. But I hope, again, that this helps you to decide which backpack is best for you. I will first go over the similarities of these backpacks and how they're all the same, and then we will get into the differences and what of each of these qualities make them different from the next. So let's start with the similarities. Okay, guys, so for the first in terms of characteristics of similarities, I want to start with what I think makes this backpack one of the most iconic out there, which is this vertical zipper that you see on all three of the sizes. I think that's what makes the Julia backpack so unique is the fact that it's opening is this vertical zipper rather than around the backpack like we generally see in most other brands. So the Jumbo, the Classic, and the Mini both possess the vertical zipper that gets you into this bag. The next similarity that you'll see in each of these bags are these rings. So you'll see the D-rings on the bottom of each of these bags, and then you'll have the D-rings. In the case of the Jumbo, it's actually a full circle ring. I'll make sure to get a close up of this for you so you're able to see it. But on the Classic and on the Julian, you have the D-rings. And what you're able to do with these is you are able to unbuckle the bottom and you are able to fasten it to the top D-ring. This provides a little bit more security with the bags. And you're able to do that with the Mini and the Jumbo as well. So they each have that very unique design where you're able to kind of secure your bag a bit more. Should you be traveling or maybe you are commuting, anything like that, you're able to kind of tighten the security of each of these bags. The next similarity of each of these bags, guys, is that each one possesses the two outside zip pockets. Again, through the Jumbo, the Classic, the Mini, they do shrink in size, but they do have these two outside compartments. As you will see, again, each design has them. The next similarity, we're actually going to delve into the bags. And that being, each one of these bags has one inside compartment. And again, I will take you through each one. These two bags are a zippered compartment. This bag is a slip compartment. But again, each possesses one inside pocket. Starting with the Julian small slip compartment, the classic zipper compartment ending with the jumbo zipper compartment. Okay guys, so the next similarity that each of these bags has is a back pocket on the back side of it. So this jumbo and this mini actually have the slip compartment on the back, but the classic bags actually have the zip compartment on the bag. But again, they each have that outside pocket for additional storage, just a bit different in terms of design. The next Similarity guys is each of these bags has the top handle like so and each has the backpack straps that are also adjustable. The last similarity I want to point out and it also actually ends up being on the back side of these bags is that each of them have a leather backing. So I will use more of these two as my example. 
These are both suede, but on the back, you see that there is the leather, the, just a regular leather back. Same goes for the mini, it has the leather back. And the jumbo, which is all leather throughout, obviously has that leather backing, which I think is really nice. I feel like to continue the suede on the back, I feel, I don't know, especially with suede, I feel like it's a bit more delicate and I think it stains a little bit easier. And so I'm happy that she decided to do the leather backing versus a suede backing. I think it's just, it's more usable in my book. All right guys, so those are all of the similarities amongst these bags that I think just the traits follow through each one, albeit maybe a little different, but also kind of the same. Now I want to get into probably what y'all might consider the most helpful part about this video, and those are the differences in these bags, and what about each might make it better for your lifestyle, or maybe you want all three, like me. But let's get into the size difference, which is obviously the biggest difference I think you'll see of the three, starting with the jumbo. This jumbo is 12 inches wide at its widest point. It is 17 inches high, and it's got a depth of six and a half inches. The classic comes in at 11.2 inches at its widest point, with a height of 12 inches and a depth of six inches. So I want to make a note of that so far before we get on into the Julian size. These are the two most similar in terms of dimension sizes. The biggest difference that you'll see in those dimensions is that this has a five inch height difference than this one. And I think that's what largely makes it the greatest difference between the two is that you've got this five inch difference in height. But in terms of its width and its depth, you're literally talking less than an inch difference between these two. As for the mini guys, we have a width of 7.5 inches, we have a height of nine inches, and we have that depth of four inches. Next, I wanna talk about convertibility because that is relevant with the Julian backpacks, at least in terms of the mini. Now, these bags, the Classic and the Jumbo, remain just that, they remain backpacks. There is no kind of convertibility option with these two bags. However, the mini, as you can see, has these clips with D-rings on the back and you can unhook and you can re-snap to create a crossbody, to create a shoulder bag. So that is what I think brings a lot of appeal to the mini is that you have that convertible option. I don't know if you're like me, but I do love a convertible bag. I love something that kind of creates a backpack, a shoulder bag, a you know crossbody bag. I think it just is better for my lifestyle because I'm sort of on the go and I need all three bags at all different kinds of times. So that's what draws me to the mini. Now, if Rebecca Minkoff were to ever watch this video, which would be so cool, Rebecca, I would love that convertible option with your classic and maybe even your jumbo, but especially the classic size. I feel like this might be a little bit difficult to convert into a convertible bag just due to its size, but this one, please, would love to see the convertible option with the classic size Julian. Next, we're going to go on to my favorite features of any bags, and those are the pockets. I am a pocket girl. I love pockets, and I especially love when bags take their pockets and use them for design features, but also they are usable features as well, and I will say I think Rebecca Minkoff does a brilliant job of creating both aesthetic features using pockets and then also making them very usable and thus makes the bag overall a very nice piece and keeps you entirely organized. And so I want to start with these side pockets, which again I think makes the Julian such an iconic bag is both the zipper and then these side pockets. Now I think it goes without saying, even though I did mention it prior, from the mini to the jumbo, the pockets get exponentially larger. Now I wanna make an example. So my phone, which is an iPhone 8S, I don't know, it's kind of a smaller phone. It's about the size of my hand. This phone fits into this pocket with really no issue and I'm able to zip it up and it fits. Now obviously I am not going to get that phone into 
the Julian side pocket. Let's see if we could get it into the classic. It is, well, let's see, maybe, maybe. No, that corner pops out a little bit on the side, so I'm unable to get my phone, which again is pretty relatively small by today's standards, into that side pocket. So the only one I'm able to kind of get a smallish phone into is the Jumbo. These pockets on the classic size and the mini size will not fit your phone. These might be better for chapsticks or maybe work ID cards, things like that, but will not fit the phone like a Jumbo would. The next thing we're going to venture into is the back pockets of these bags. Now, obviously it's worth mentioning again that the Jumbo and the Mini have what we call the slip pockets like so, and it's the classic that has the zippered pocket like that. And each obviously holds something a little bit different in terms of their size. So we're gonna start with the Mini this time. Again, I'm gonna use my phone as the example. I feel like that's what will slip into a lot of these bags. Now the Mini back pocket will fit my phone and with a lot of room to spare. So it's definitely a pretty deep pocket. I'll put my hand in there just so you could see. It fits my entire hand up until the wrist. So it is definitely a deeper pocket for sure. Now let's take a look at the classic here, guys. I'm gonna, just gonna pull it up closer to the camera for you. Again, this is the one that has the zipper backing like so. This will fit your phone with no issue, but also you could even get a small paper bag into this back pocket. And obviously my bookmark's a little large, but it does fit with no problem. If I tuck that bookmark in and it will zip without issue. So guys, I hope that close up showed you that the back pocket on the classic is actually a lot bigger than this guy. This will obviously not fit a paperback book. I would even venture to say this could fit some smaller journals, planners, or even notebooks, and again, your phone. So it's much larger of a pocket. Now let's get into the jumbo, which I think is ideal for those of us that like to take our laptops with us. And I think was sort of the inspo for the creation of a jumbo was to carry a larger laptop in the back pocket of the jumbo of course again is that slip pocket now i do in my normal reviews what we call a tech test so what size technology fits into these bags so i think with that we're going to do a tech test in the jumbo as no technology in terms of computers are going to fit in the classic back pocket nor the mini but let's see what fits in the back of this julian bag we will start with my 15 inch laptop okay guys I have my 15 inch laptop. I usually keep this in a sleeve. It will not fit with a sleeve into this back pocket. It is a bit snug, but it does slip in like so. You'll see from the front that you have kind of these like corners that pop out. So I would definitely say that while the 15 inch does fit, it's a lot more snug than I would like. And I'd venture to say if you had a hard case on your 15 inch laptop, it might not fit so well because again, without a case, I feel like the fit is snug, but it does fit, albeit the corners stick out a little. However, it does work if you have a 15 inch laptop. Now y'all, on to the next computer, a 13 inch computer. So we have my 13 inch computer here. This one does have a spec hard case on it, so it's slim, but it does have the case, which the other one did not. Now 13 inch fits with no issue, the corners don't really poke out. So this will fit with no problem. And so if you're a 13 inch laptop carrier, you'll have no issue and this pocket is very much large enough in order to carry that laptop. All right guys, the last pocket we're going to take a look at in terms of size, what fits, is inside the bag. So let's delve in, I'll get you a closer look of what each of the inside pockets carry of these bags, starting with the mini and then we will work our way up to the jumbo so guys as you can see this slip pocket is actually quite small it fits maybe my two or three fingers and we are just basically going to see that essentially a chapstick a lipstick maybe two of those tubes will fit into that there's really nothing else that will fit into this mini slip pocket however the classic inside compartment 
does get a bit bigger. It is zippered. My entire hand plus room fits into that zip pocket. So that would be great to hold my cell phone, to hold my chapstick, We'll throw my glasses inside. That pocket fits those things no problem. It actually has even more room should I want to put more things in there. So that inside pocket does really pack a punch on the classic bag and will hold quite a few items. So moving on to the jumbo, we're gonna open this bad boy up. Again, we have the zip compartment. We have an exponential amount of room. My hand plus then some into that zippered pocket. So I'm gonna use some of the same things we've been using in the examples throughout, but I'm gonna add some because that's how big this pocket is. So we have my paperback book. That fits with no problem and I'd be able to zip this closed too should I need to. I have my glasses that slip right in with the book, my lipstick, and my phone and I'm able to zip that pocket shut, I have absolutely no problem getting my things into that zipper compartment. So again, that is also a pocket that packs a heck of a lot of punch in terms of storing your items. All right guys, one of the last differences I wanna take a look at is the strap width. So I will get again up close and personal with you guys, but the strap width honestly surprised me a bit with these bags being that this was three quarter inch strap width not so surprising. What surprised me was these two. We have a one inch strap width, whereas the classic actually has the widest strap width at one and one quarter inches. So I fully expected that to be the case with the jumbo or maybe they be the same strap width. I really wasn't expecting this one to have a greater width than the jumbo. Is it a big width? No, however, I do think with that five inch height, I do think it's a little different simply because this is carrying a little bit more like a laptop. I guess that's why I expected a bigger width on the strap. But again, I will show you up close so you can see what I'm seeing in terms of this width. So I've aligned these bags so you can see that the classic is behind, here's the jumbo, and here is the mini in terms of how much those differ. Uh, that's probably a better look. It's kind of hard to keep these straps held like this, but there is definitely a difference with the classic being the largest strap width. And I think my girlfriend had mentioned with the jumbo that that did play a part for her in carrying it. She is a commuter. She does commute regularly to the city and she actually mentioned the width to me. So I thought it'd be worth it to mention the width to you. If that was something she was seeing, I think it's necessary to include that in this video. So now that we've gone over sort of the, the pockets, the design, the dimensions, things like that, the last thing I want to show you is what each bag fits and we're gonna go in descending order. So we're going to start with the jumbo and with the mini. And the reason being is that I feel like the best way to test a bag and if it's best for you is to see what all a bag can carry. And I think depending on the person and what they do and you know how they are, uh, that could make a huge difference. And it's definitely something I as a consumer like to see. I always wanna see what a bag's capacity can be and what its potential is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all that I generally carry. I'm actually in a big bag right now, so we're gonna start with the jumbo. And then we're gonna work our way down to the mini so you can see what types of items you have to eliminate to go from this jumbo size to this mini size. And if it's something you're capable of doing to go from this one to this one. So I will show you all my stuff and we will get into which each one holds and how you have to eliminate to go into each size. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we are going to compile all this crap into this bag and we are gonna see if it all fits. So let's go ahead and start that process now. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get this laptop into this back compartment. Remember it was a snug fit with a 15 inch, but that is my typical computer. That's the reason we're using this one. So you see that that fits. So we're gonna go into the big part of the bag. We're gonna start with my hardcover book. We'll go my beauty pouch, my planner, my Kula sunscreen, 
my repel mosquito distance mosquito repellent we are going to take my work badge and we are going to put it in a side pocket simply because it's something I reach for quite often. My random papers and things like that I will keep in that zipper compartment inside the bag. I like to keep my stuff like this in those zipper compartments. I feel like it keeps it protected and it doesn't bend. So we have that. And actually inside the compartment I'm going to put my budgeting notebook. So that is filled. I've got my wallet. My Ikea zip pouch. On the other pocket, so you can see, I'm going to slip some lip products again. These are something I reach for quite often. So we're gonna go ahead and zip that up. And my last few scraggly items, we have my flint roller, a mask, and then we have my keys. Pile that on, and then we have my phone, and we're gonna zip it up, and look at that, everything fits. Again, that laptop pokes out a little bit, but if you were to carry a 13 inch, I don't think you'd have that problem, and you can fit all that stuff in there and it would be just fine. So this bag, in my opinion, definitely packs a punch in terms of what all it can carry. Now let's unpack it and move to the classic. Okay guys, so we have all of the stuff back out of the bag and now we're gonna move on to the classic and see what of these things will fit into that bag. So. Let's get it out and let's get it rolling. So here is my classic bag. Now, obviously this back pocket is not going to fit my laptop. We'll try and get the laptop in, but I don't think it's gonna work, but just for the sake of it, I'm gonna show you, but I think we're immediately going to eliminate that. Yeah, this, th yeah, this is not gonna work, so we're gonna put that to the side. Let me show you with a 13 inch laptop for those that are wondering to see if that will fit inside this bag. Hold please. So for reference, again, my 13 inch laptop. Um, nope, not gonna fit. So no laptop's gonna fit in this bag. Let's start with the other items then. So the laptop's already been eliminated for the classic. Let's start with my next biggest item, which is my hardcover book. So that does fit. We'll then go with the planner. That also fits. This is my paperwork again, so we're gonna put that in the same compartment, that zipper compartment that does hold a lot, for the same reason that I just kinda like it protected. We'll do the same with my finance book. That fits into that pocket, no problem. Let's go my beauty pouch. Fits. Wallet. My flint roller. Kula sunscreen, my repel, uh, insect repellent, and then the last few things we'll get in there is the Ikea change pouch, and then, whoops, the mask, shove that in there, and then also my keys, which we will fit right on top of the wallet, zips right shut. As for these other items, we can actually put the badge into the, actually no, we're gonna change this around. We're gonna put the badge into the side pocket. That fits no problem, we'll shut that all up. The phone, we're gonna get into this back pocket. Zip that up. And then the lip products, we're gonna go into the side pocket. So, this bag, albeit very full, does fit all, almost all of the contents that I had in the jumbo. The only thing that differs is the fact that the computer won't fit into the classic size. But as for the other items, I mean, this bag definitely packs a punch in terms of what all it will carry. But now let's see what we can get into the mini backpack. All right guys, now we're gonna see what all of this pile will fit into the mini. We'll eliminate as we go so you can see how much you have to decrease in order to get into this size. So let's go ahead and start with the book 
for starters. Opening this up, there's no way the hardcover is gonna fit in there. Uh, the planner, a little, little too big too. So we're gonna eliminate that. My beauty compartment, or pouch rather. Um, yep, that's not gonna fit either. So I would definitely have to go through this and sort of pick and choose what items that are totally necessary in this beauty pouch to get into here. My finance book, budget book rather, fits. My wallet does fit. My coolest sunscreen fits. While that pocket does not fit this stuff, we can kind of just slip it in here as I lose a tea bag in the process, but that goes in. We have my insect repellent, my flint roller, must have in my book, my keys, which fit. I'll uh, again just snug. My IKEA coin pouch fits this fits. Now this is what we're going to do. So we're going to turn this bag around. It, remember, will fit a phone. So we've gone ahead and fit the phone in there. As for the side compartments, let's see if this tube fits into it. Uh, just barely, but we got it. Got this in here. Maybe? No. It won't fit two of the lip products. So let's see We'll zip this bad boy up. It's got one lip product in it. We'll open this up, throw it in here. Now, mind you, while it fits, it is quite snug and not very organized, but hey, it fits. Now, let's see if we could get the badge into the side pocket. Not gonna happen. We can slip the badge in the back with the phone. Uh, definitely tight, but it does, no, it doesn't really fit. So we're gonna put this batch into it actually won't even fit so you're really a lot more limited with this bag again let's just zip that up there's nothing in that pocket so these pockets definitely on the side are very small you're really sort of limited what fits into here and this bag again well fits maybe a little bit more than I anticipated uh, you definitely have to be in a small bag state of mind for this one as you do have to eliminate quite a bit in comparison to the others but if like the fact that this is mini and does still fit all of this, I'm actually quite impressed with how few things I really did have to eliminate in order to get into this bag. So again, mini, but packs a pretty decent amount. All right, guys, that ends my video. I know this is quite a long one for those of you who are used to seeing my videos. I like them long, but this is definitely a lot. But also, I really wanted to delve into what I felt were the similarities and the big differences between these bags. And I hope you find this helpful. I hope this helps you sort of get an idea of which one would work best for your lifestyle. Now, something I wanted to comment on is that I'm obviously aware that the styles are very different in terms of like the suede, the hardware, things like that. However, I really wanted to focus more on the function of the bag versus the style of the bag. The Rebecca Minkoff site has so many different styles for these bags, especially in the classic design. I find that you can find them in a lot of different colors, styles, all of that jazz. So maybe that is something I will touch on in a different video and I will go over each individually. Definitely look for specific reviews on each bag. I will definitely go into more in-depth things on each bag. I love, love, love review videos of handbags. I think they're so helpful. But anyway, I hope again you found this quite helpful. I hope you figure out which Julian you want. I don't think you'll be disappointed. These are one of my favorite backpacks, bags in general to carry. And that ends this very long video. I cannot wait to see you in Thursday's video. Again, for those of you who are new, I come out with new videos every Tuesday and every Thursday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you haven't, please subscribe. But that all being said, I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.